Peace Aquarius, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Ebony Simone and this is my channel. I do mostly Aquarius readings over here. So if you have Aquarius somewhere aspect in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, these messages may resonate with you, okay? If you have Aquarius in your chart and this message does not resonate with you, this is not your message, okay? I do have other Aquarius readings on this platform that you may better resonate with. And for if any reason you don't resonate with any other readings on this platform, um, on my platform okay <laughs> feel free to check out some of the other amazing tarot readers here on youtube you may find a better match okay so this is going to be a reading for aquarius summarizing venus and north node again this is a whatever comes out reading so a general message um so i've pre-shuffled some of these cards but not all of them so i'm going to give these a a good shuffle um Hey, Divine Goddess. Goddess, good evening. I'm sorry I'm late, y'all, and I'm sorry about Friday. Um, but I be living my life sometimes, too. <laughs> and this weekend was so wonderful. I planted a tree, y'all. I planted a, a peach tree <laughs> this weekend. It was so, like, I ain't never planted a tree before and did not even realize that it's Earth Month. Okay, so April is actually Earth Month. So planting a tree is good for the environment. You know, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get my, my humanitarianism going on. I did get your email, Mika. Um, I think I did. I know we've been going back and forth, Mika. I'm going to check it again just to make sure. Um, if you are a winner of uh, the last contest that we did the, for the journals, y'all should be getting y'all journals this week if y'all haven't already gotten them. So, um, yeah, but I planted some trees, y'all. I started my garden, so stay on the lookout. I told y'all I would vlog it, so stay on the lookout. I got to edit the videos and stuff like that, but y'all can see um, what I started in my garden this weekend, y'all. It's been a good weekend. I had to I had to do some some stuff at the house. Hey, uh, hey, Tracy. Hey, Tasha. All my girls here tonight. Okay. Okay, tonight going to be a good night. Yeah, it's going to be a good night, okay? I'm hearing... Someone please call 911. <laughs> the alleged assailant is five foot one. So who is y'all out here? Y'all breaking hearts of grace. Somebody wants somebody about to call 911 on y'all. Okay, I feel like uh something to do with y'all. Ooh, we oh, Grace, what are y'all doing? All right, all jokes aside, somebody actually may be calling 911 this weekend or this week or somebody, something, mm, this weekend could have been kind of weird, okay? Somebody could have had to call the law on somebody. All right, I did see protection, so um, somebody could have violated some sort of uh, protection order, okay? Somebody could be, y'all, this reading, why is this reading getting like this already? Um, You could feel responsible for somebody, okay? Especially if you're a masculine Aquarius. If you're a masculine Aquarius, you could definitely be feeling responsible for somebody that you were in a relationship with, okay? Somebody's mental health is, like, going through it right now. So, somebody could um, be suffering from some sort of mental health episode. This could be you, Aquarius, or this could be somebody that you know or that you're dealing with. Yeah, okay? High Priestess energy um, manifestation. Ooh, wait. Somebody getting that karma as well. But when it comes to this relationship, somebody may have to get a protection order or or some sort of like uh, paperwork is being filed at the courthouse. Whether this is to get somebody is trying to get custody of their children. Somebody trying to get emergency custody of their kids because the mother of the children could be like having a mental episode. OK, or having some sort of like uh, this is crazy. All right. This ain't going to be for everybody. Obviously, that's going to be um for only a select amount of people oh, but you got boundaries here and manifestation yeah this is strong protection order type energy okay Jeez, sheesh what else is y'all got what else y'all got going on yeah Aquarius, y'all being tested mm, this spirit is somebody is depressed somebody's suffering from depression or mental illness okay yeah you all see them pills okay um Mm. Anyway, let's pray over this energy. Hold on, y'all. My sage burning too. It might be one of them nights. Okay. 
Okay, y'all. We're going to pray this away. <laughs> I don't want this. I don't want to take none of this home with me. So we're going to leave this burning over here. All right. Most high God, Holy Spirit, Spirit guides, angels of the highest light, archangels, ancestors, and ascended masters. Only those I've called upon are welcome here. Please fill this space. Holy Spirit, I thank you for allowing me to tap into the energy of uh, the collective of, of Aquarius in regards to what they need to know most at this time. I thank you for your protection for both me and the collective of Aquarius. I thank you for a clear, concise, and accurate message. And again, I thank you for protecting us from any low vibrational energies or entities att attempting to interfere with this message. Ashe. All right. What does Aquarius need to know, Spirit? Yeah. I saw gossip. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bitterness. So it's about to be one of those readings. Okay. So Aquarius. Um, let's see what else y'all got. Immortality, bitterness, and reconciliation. Okay. Somebody could be threatening to harm themselves or do something to themselves off the strength that you won't reconcile with them, Aquarius. Somebody could really be like pulling out all of the stops I'm seeing. All right. This is not going to be for everybody. But for some of you guys, y'all have someone who wants to be in your life. They don't want to like do the work, though, to be in your life. <laughs> Aquarius, you've done a lot of work. Somebody just keeps sending stuff. Okay. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even, the message is the message. It just is what it is. Somebody is bitter. Somebody is upset. They're enraged. They're upset because of the fact that you overcame something. You recovered from something that was meant to take you out, Aquarius. It just is what it is. Some sort of attack. Somebody knew what they were doing. Somebody could have like withheld something from you or like created. This was intentional blockages that were put in your path in order for you to like not succeed. This could be an ex-lover. Reconciliation doesn't have to be a lover all the time though, but I did see romance as we were like channeling the messages when i was pre-shuffling right so we did see romance okay but again something that was meant for you to like meant for your demise you overcame it literally arnica recovery and you're also walking into an energy of wish fulfillment aquarius your life is like all it's awing someone it's like somebody can't make out why and i don't know why this person is showing up in your energy because we already discussed that we don't care but this is it must be important especially if this is a child mother or a child father somebody this eclipse energy could really be messing with somebody's mental state, okay? I hope this is not you, Aquarius. If this is you, definitely, um, I, I want you to, like, if you have episodes, I know people have been having mood swings, like, you know, energy been up and down, emotions been all over the place. Take some time to focus on your breath, okay? Focus on your breathing, okay? Bring yourself back to center. Bring yourself back to the present moment, okay? Just know that whatever it is that you're stressed out about, whatever it is that's causing you to be overwhelmed in that moment, um, try to find like your your anchor in the here and now, okay? Because this this is real live shit. I don't know if y'all seen on the news where that astrologer like she pushed her kids out the door, like she killed her kids basically and killed her husband and everything due to a mental break that has to do with this eclipse energy and y'all think that just because the eclipse not y'all i ain't gonna say y'all but people think just because the eclipse was last week that that energy is done and over with no it's gonna be like crazy for like the next six months so i'm gonna need y'all to stay on y'all p's and q's okay but yeah somebody could also be recovering from some sort of mental break okay but again aquarius this was meant for you something that was sent towards you or somebody's anger towards you is unwarranted because number one you haven't done anything to this person um and number two like all you did was like i feel like whoever this is they 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 are the ones attacking you and you just like keep <laughs> like you just keep overcoming the attacks or whatever the case may be some of you guys this is even physical all right some of you guys are actually recovering from some sort of physical altercation it's like I didn't I didn't whoop your ass in so many different ways type shit. Like, and like why are you still? Hey, Rocky. Hey, Taisha. Hey, gloss. Big gloss, not the little one. Hey, petty motherfucking Betty. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna stay out this chat though because y'all know this chat be getting me in trouble. But yeah, like that's pretty much. I missed y'all too. Hey, Tracy. Um. That's pretty much what's happening here, Aquarius. And you're showing up as immortal, and immortal, okay? <laughs> Immortality. All right, you can't be stopped. It's something, and it's something, some sort of reward or some sort of gift that's coming towards you that also cannot be stopped. Like, it's like whatever this person, and this person is throwing, this is like almost like some, a, a temper tantrum or a, like a, 
all right somebody is just salty okay or bitter all right because that you don't want to you don't want to reconcile with them like you don't want to do this <laughs> huh anyway let's see <laughs> let's see what else is going on with Aquarius what else is going on with Aquarius spirit Yeah, y'all got intensification. It's like the more they, it's like <laughs> they keep intensifying these in attacks or somebody keeps like trying to like, trying harder for something to happen. And Aquarius, it just keeps like, it's like it's having an adverse effect on you. It's like whatever this person is like looking for, it's not happening. It's, it's literally like, <laughs> it's making you grow more or it's making you look better. It's making you like do better with your work. It's like, this person is pissed. Somebody is upset. <laughs> Somebody is sending spell work towards you. Like, this is literally what it is. It just is what it is. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry for this reading. Hopefully, it don't last. We ain't gonna stand it long. So, it's the need for y'all to make sure that y'all are protecting y'all energy. Even though, like, I, I feel like I don't even have to say that to y'all, Aquarius. Y'all are so protected in this reading from what I'm seeing. Y'all literally have the card of immortality. Like, y'all don't have anything to worry about. Whatever this is, I feel like you've raised your vibration so high that a lot of this shit that you don't even realize is happening around you. A lot of gossip around you as well. Somebody could be, yeah, like I just said, protection. I didn't even see this fell out. Like, you guys are so protected. You don't even have to, like, you're not even seeing the shit. It's not touching you or it's not getting to you. It's not reaching you. It's going back towards, like, whoever this is that's sending it your way. Because you've raised your vibration. You're not focused on this. Like you've done your shadow work. You've done a lot of shadow work. You, whatever these people are trying to, these people are trying to attack. It's like you've already healed that part of yourself. You've already reconciled that part of you. Okay. Some of you guys, again, have balanced out your divine masculine, divine feminine energies. You are like your shadow self is good. You showing your inner child uh attention. It's like this, like you. You doing the work. So none of this shit is, is hitting you. It's not touching you. Okay, protection. You protected, Aquarius. Let's see what else is going on here with this reconciliation for Aquarius. You also protected from anybody trying to reconcile with you that's no longer like that's Yes, I'm telling you, death magic. Somebody was sending you some death magic. Just reconciliation. If you go back towards these people or this person or whoever this is, they want you. They, they tried to die. They tried to kill you. <laughs> they tried to die. They tried to kill you. Someone tried to like attack your stability they try to attack your finances they try to attack you in a different way shape or form okay yeah incubations they try to attack your uh your ideas your creativity whatever this is that you're trying to become okay because this is a grown person being birthed here so again aquarius you could have been going through some sort of rebirth or some sort of transformation and somebody was trying to attack you while you were in a in a vulnerable phase but this this here womb here is acting as protection for you you are safe okay I'm hearing safe in his arms by um I'm I'm hearing gospel music. What's it? What's her name? Avery, not Sunshine Avery. Her name may Avery something. It could be sun, not Sunshine Avery. No, it is Sunshine Avery or Avery Sunshine. Not Sunshine Anderson, Sunshine Avery. But anyway, that that song Safe in His Arms, okay? Mm, and that song is a very powerful song. If you ain't never heard that song, look that song up. Like, listen to that song. It's probably like two minutes long at, at the most. But, um, yeah, with this incubation being here, you're being birthed into something brand new. It's like you're you're um, reconciling the broken parts of you, okay? While somebody else is, like, trying to send some sort of death magic your way, but it's, like, it's returning back towards them. So, I'm seeing the color purple. Everything... <laughs> you hope for me or whatever she said y'all know what she do those two fingers and the color purple that's what i'm hearing like what you hope for me is like basically what's happening to you all right what's this bitterness here for aquarius aquarius i hope this is not your energy but y'all know this could be uh vice versa take it flip it but i feel like this is somebody's energy towards you aqua what else a lot of bitter betties okay yeah okay <laughs> This could be a masculine energy that you were dealing with. All right. This could be a masculine energy, uh, again, that you may not even suspect as sending this negative energy. This person is cloaked. Somebody is doing something in secret. This masculine is, okay? 
They could even be somebody is secretly doing magic. Some a masculine energy could have a secret altar, okay? Something hidden underneath like a cabinet or like some sort of like do y'all I'm seeing like a TV stand. Do y'all know how the TV stands used to be? Especially back when we had DVDs and you open it up and then like that's where the shelves are, like where the DVDs and the VCR and the DVD player and all that stuff go. Like I feel like that's what this person has. So I feel like if you yeah, somebody is like a covert, somebody is covert, um, a covert narcissist or somebody is a covert like um warlock somebody is hidden all right in plain sight you may not even suspect this person of doing this towards you or somebody whoever this bitter uh this could be a man though like i said showing up as a masculine all right that's who this bitter person is a masculine energy is bitter about the way that your life turned out and about the way that it's turned out. You're, you are protected. Somebody is mad that you're protected, that they can't send attacks towards you no more. I feel like they were able to do this at one point in the time when your energy was a lot lower before you claimed your power back, before you took back your energy. Now they's put, now, like, what, what, is it, what, what do they want? Like, <laughs> like we, they've been doing this. Uh, what else? Yeah, you healed yourself already. Like, you got to heal yourself first. All right, and again, for some of this stuff, like, for this to even be able to work on you, these people also are unhealed. They can't do this. They, they don't have the power that they think they have, okay? Because they're unhealed. Okay, Aquarius? You got to enter at your... Okay, so I'm also hearing too, Aquarius, don't go back to what you healed yourself from already, okay? So I feel like some of you guys could be walking the line. Y'all could be, some of y'all, so say for instance, if you stop smoking, right? So I say that was your goal is to stop smoking. And like, it's like, you won't buy, like say for instance, if you smoke cigarettes, you won't buy a pack of cigarettes, but you a bum one off of somebody. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, and you haven't smoked, say you haven't smoked in a few months. Like, it's like almost like walking that line. Like, be careful, okay, Aquarius? Don't end up back in a situation that you just worked really hard to get out of, okay? And I'm not saying, hopefully y'all don't smoke cigarettes. I hope not. But I'm not judging nobody. You know, y'all do whatever y'all want. But I'm just using that as an example. For some of y'all, this is a relationship that's trying to creep back in on y'all. Or somebody is trying to, like, like sweeten you up or get you, like, back in the fucked up position. Don't fall for it, Aquarius. Do not fall for the bait, okay? Someone please call 911. Sometimes I feel like I'm a prisoner. I think I'm trapped here for a while. Yeah, don't go back towards something that you took a long time to get out of. And every breath I fight to take. Yeah, this is all this is for. So, yeah, somebody could be feeling trapped in a situation. 211 could be significant. Somebody's birthday could be February 11th, okay? February 3rd could also be significant. But yeah, you went through this transformation already, Aquarius. So don't allow yourself to be sucked back into some sort of distraction. That's what I feel like this is. This is more so about a distraction. All right. And also the fact that somebody is sending this attack towards you. Somebody is sending some energy towards you to try to get you to go back when you're healing. Or to go, go back on something that you've already learned a lesson on. But again, you've already completed this transformation. You're not weak, Aquarius. Literally, you already crossed this veil. You're not weak, okay? Somebody, again, is, is mourning the loss of you. They're mourning the fact. Somebody's also just mourning the fact that they just couldn't beat you. And that's pretty much what this is. It's somebody's mad that there's somebody's a sore loser. That you, that you won a fight that you wasn't, you wasn't even fighting this fight. <laughs> it's like you wasn't even going back and forth with somebody, but you still won. And this is like making somebody highly upset. It's because you're so unbothered. Like this person is, and this somebody's mourning, and this lady is in there fixing her makeup. You about to get on live, or you about to go out. You about to go do whatever it is that you're getting ready to do. And somebody else is stagnant. Somebody else is stuck. Okay, somebody else can't move again. Somebody is debilitated by the magic that they sent towards you. Somebody sent this death magic towards you and they killed them. <laughs> Not saying this person is dead, physically dead, like, but you feel what I'm saying? Like it killed whatever desires they had. It killed whatever happiness they had left in their life. This person is in a, a sunken place. Somebody is in the sunken place, okay? So, again, I pray for everybody, especially if this is your child's mother or father. Like, I'm not going to say for you to hate this person or, like, to laugh in their face. Like, I, like the energy that I'm feeling, like, I'm making light of it because I don't want to stay in it too long. And I don't want this stuck on me. But this is a heavy energy. Somebody is really feeling it. Like, feeling. And, again, they, of course, like, yeah, we're not going to sit here and say, yeah, they, that's what they get. They shouldn't have been sending it. Yeah, they shouldn't have been sending this shit to Aquarius. But <sighs> Aquarius.
it didn't hurt you. It didn't hurt you. It didn't touch you. Okay. So you should just pity this person. This person really needs to heal. Okay. You got stagnation and distraction. Like all it did was distract you temporarily, but I don't feel like it, it took you off your path. <laughs> Literally. It, it couldn't, it couldn't stick to you. Like let loose. It had to let you loose because you grown. You love yourself too much. Okay. It's like you've raised your vibration to a, a certain degree where this shit can't really bother you. So let's see. Mm, let me shuffle this. I don't even remember if I did or if I didn't. Let me see who this is, okay? February 10th could also be significant, okay? Somebody... Whole deck upside down. That's why I wasn't shuffling right. There you go. Yeah, somebody literally like seven of swords, five of swords energy. This is some bullshit. Somebody is being sneaky as hell again. Y'all may not even know. This is why this is coming up. So let's see who this masculine energy is. This Lord masculine energy. Four of Wands. Um. Yeah, you're recovering from from some sort of sneak attack or some sort of. Mm, this is shit that I don't like, though, because this is so sneaky. Like, if you gonna try to, like, this, why you can't do this shit in my face? Like, you feel what I'm saying? I hate when somebody, like, be sneaky. Like, when this person sees you, like, this person is sneakily watching you. They're doing shit behind your back with the uh, Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, and with the Page of Swords. They're watching you to see if it's affecting you. They're watching you to see if it's working. And this shit pissing them off because when they're looking at you, when they, of course, when they come to watch you, you over there smiling, you laughing, you having a good-ass time, you looking like money, you smelling like money. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you look like nothing is affecting you. You look like this shit is not working, okay? And for all I know, Aquarius, this shit may be touching you a little bit. But regardless of the fact, if it's touching you or if it's not, you wear that shit good. Like, it look good. You make it look good. You make it look like it's not affecting you whatsoever, okay? Emotionally manipulated knowing I was open with how I felt. Yeah, and that's what I feel like this is about. And then, like, this person, whoever this is, they get some sort of kick out of, like, whatever this is that they're they used to doing. But I feel like whatever this is that they're used to doing, it's just not working on you. And that's what's causing this person to be dispirited. That's what's causing this person to be depressed. All right, that's what's causing. And this person could have also been sending that energy towards you. So Aquarius, if you've been suffering from depression, and I'm not saying that everything is to blame, because y'all know we take responsibility for our own reactions, our own happiness, all of that. Aquarius, you are responsible for that. But it somebody could be helping to assist you with having low vibrational energies, with having depression by sending you this negative shit. But regardless, you don't you're not you're not allowing it to affect you. Let's see. What's going on with Aquarius? Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody stressed the fuck out in their head, can't sleep, can't eat, because they trying to figure out, like, damn, if it's not hitting Aquarius, where is this going? Back to you, stupid. <laughs> Back to you, dummy. Okay. The the um <laughs> Strength card and a nine of swords. Yeah, somebody can't, somebody literally trying to hold it together. They can't sleep. They can't eat. They can't do nothing but continue to think about what this is that's coming towards them, this karma that's coming towards them for sending out this negative energy towards you, Aquarius, or whoever. Aquarius, if this is you sending out negative energy towards other people, unwarranted, Aquarius, you know better. So whatever you get is what you got, okay? That just is what it is. But this is somebody who's extremely anxious, all right, about what could be potentially coming towards them, okay? The strength card and the nine of swords. Mm -mm. somebody did something over and over again thinking that it was eventually going to pay off and now it's going to pay now they have to pay the piper <laughs> page of wands all right somebody has to pay the piper whatever this work was this page of wands that they did on this empress whatever this work was that they were doing on this empress it's being revealed it's exposed it's being found out okay this person like whoever this is that did this shit like <laughs> the empress knows okay aquarius i feel like this is you all right. Or this could also be a mother figure. All right. If this is a mother figure or this is somebody's baby mama or whatever the case may be, somebody is that's doing this to you, Aquarius, like you, you're, you know about it. OK, for this, this could be a masculine energy, though. I feel like for my masculine Aquarius is your baby mother could be like you could be finding out some sort of truth about this person. All right, something that was being hit. And maybe this woman moved. Okay, maybe you found out where they live. Okay, maybe somebody, 
Okay, if you're a masculine Aquarius, somebody could be trying to keep your kids away from you with the shrimp card being here. All right. Or you could be worried about like something to do with your children. All right, if you're a masculine Aquarius, you just may have not may not have seen your children. Okay, Page of Wands to be a child. You could have a fire sign child, a, a fire sign child. Ace of Swords could also be some sort of documentation. Okay, some sort of court documents. Again, somebody could be going to the courthouse. Uh, the king of swords could also be like some sort of law uh law enforcement okay some sort of public official okay okay where this could also be you aquarius you could be hiring some sort of public uh not public you could be hiring some sort of private detective okay the hermit car could be some a private detective or somebody could be hiring somebody to watch you or spy on you we did see the page of swords earlier so that could be the advice, okay? Especially if you're trying to get your kids back, you may have to hire some sort of private detective in order for you to like get your children back or for you to find out where this person moved to or whatever the case may be, okay? Yeah, but somebody got some karma coming towards them, okay? Aquarius, this could be you having good karma coming towards you, okay? But I feel like this is negative karma going towards somebody that's playing a lot of games, all right? Somebody about to fuck around and find out. Seven of Cups, okay? Let's see what else is going on with Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the hangman in reverse. Somebody is like stuck again. Somebody, whoever this is that wanted you to be stuck or stale or stagnant. Somebody wanted you to be stuck on a path as well, okay? But I feel like you're still standing. <laughs> Six of uh, Pentacles. You still getting what you deserve. You're getting like equal give and take. Okay. You're also getting some sort of, you could be getting some sort of pay raise or you got money coming in. Your money looks good. Okay. People are donating to you. You have like, you're getting opportunities. Okay. And somebody else is stuck and stale and stagnant. Somebody ain't moving. And they could be trying to point the finger at you, making it seem like it's your fault, Aquarius, that they're not doing anything with their fucking life. Okay literally <laughs> the fool card but that's they foolish decisions it's something about the foolish decision that they're making okay and they're mad at you because you're taking a leap of faith towards your new beginnings and everything that they're taking taking a leap of faith towards is bullshit or it's leaving them stuck or stagnant and they're mad at you like that has nothing to do with you like again somebody is depressed the hangman in reverse is depression Yeah, mm-hmm, whoever this is, y'all could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? Uh, Leo could be significant in Aries, all right? Um, Aquarius energy, Another. this could be another Aquarius, okay? What else? 111 in the chat. Thank y'all, I appreciate y'all being here. Yeah, Page of Cups here, okay? Somebody wants to apologize, all right? Or somebody... Uh, yeah, somebody could probably possibly want to apologize. <sighs> Aquarius, with the Page of Cups being here. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> My volume, yeah, I put y'all on mute. I'm sorry. I had a phone call. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, Page of Cups, okay? This could have something to do with a Pisces child, okay, as well, all right? Your, your, your kids could be Pisces children, all right? You could have a Pisces child that you guys could be um fighting over, okay? But this is also talking about somebody could 
feel like you are naive, okay? Somebody can be, like, used to you being naive or somebody looks at you, Aquarius, like you don't, like, like you gullible or something, or like you fall for anything, all right? This person don't know you, though. Like, I feel like <laughs> this person don't know you, okay? Somebody thought that you was going to wait around or put up with somebody's bullshit. The six, of, the six of swords is here, though. Like, you moved on, and you could be trying to take your kids with you, Aquarius. Somebody thought that, that you were going to, um, I'm hearing Brit Fayez, wait for me. Mm -mm. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> somebody who thought you was going to wait for them, okay? And you're like, you're not trying to, you're not like waiting on them. Somebody is putting their kids in this boat and they getting on, they getting the fuck on, okay? You're not about to wait for somebody else to get their they shit together. Especially somebody who has like something going on with them mentally. I feel like somebody literally is having a mental breakdown or somebody is going through some sort of mental episode. And there's a need for y'all. If y'all don't have y'all kids, okay, make sure y'all like watching y'all children. Something about y'all kids could be significant. Anything else? Yeah, I'm telling y'all, I don't know who just had this falling out or this argument, but somebody getting ready to fall out with somebody, okay? Somebody also don't know how to talk. Like, they be talking real reckless and Aquarius. I feel like you hold your tongue a lot when it comes to this person because you may know this person ain't all the way there, right? But I feel like you could, like, again, especially if you are a masculine and Aquarius, like, make sure that you are restraining yourself. Walk away from a situation before you put your hands on. Literally, I just said this. Like, walk away from a situation before you put your hands on anybody or before you allow anybody to get you, like, outside of your hookup. Because I am seeing an altercation. Like, and I'm seeing this because, like, somebody is trying to provoke you. Like, you have a lot going for yourself, Aquarius. And this person sees that somebody is literally trying to get you to... Somebody is trying to trick you out your spot. Don't fall for it, Apple. Eight of Cups. Yeah, literally walk away. And again, I know y'all tired of being a bigger person, Aquarius. I know y'all are, like, but just for a little while longer, okay? Continue be being the bigger person. It's not, like, I'm telling you, it's literally for your protection. It's literally for your protection. I cannot make this shit up. Five of Wands, Eight of Cups. Walk away from conflict. Like, don't walk towards the shit. Walk away. Turn your back to whatever this conflict is that this person is literally trying to provoke you into. Aquarius, you don't have to be a masculine Aquarius to resonate with this message. Just know, like, do not allow yourself to be, like, uh... Whew. Yeah, Aqua. Because the first thing I heard as soon as I turned the camera on was somebody please call 911. Because somebody gonna get hurt in Aquarius. I don't feel like it's gonna be you, but I do feel like you may be the one suffering the consequences from it because you are warned or because you know that you are the bigger person. Somebody is a ment somebody is mentally ill. And this person is perfect. This person is being overly aggressive. Okay. They could be starting shit with you, starting some sort of argument with you. But this is a warning of unexpected loss. Aquarius, I feel like the unexpected loss could be of your freedom, okay? Or whatever, like, because somebody is like, just walk away. Put your ego to the side. Like, literally, do y'all see that, Ten of Swords? Look, somebody is good. This is not going to end the way that somebody else wanted it to or not the way you wanted to. Hierophant, okay? That's an institution. That could be jail. That could be a courthouse, okay? With the Hierophant here. Clarify the Hierophant. <laughs> the, the, but I'm telling you, this is leading. This conflict is leading towards the Hierophant. This is also some sort of restraint of the hierophant could be like a contract or some sort of like restraining order, okay, or something. But with the hierophant and the three of pentacles being here, this is definitely giving me jail. Where the eight of swords at? That's all I'm missing. <laughs> this is some sort of uh restraining order, or this is some sort of protection order, or something like that. Page of swords. Hmm. Somebody is definitely fighting demons, though, Aquarius. Who is this? is this? This is your energy, though. Yeah, this is your energy. Uh, Aquarius energy, the fool. Like, don't just don't make any foolish decisions, Aquarius. Don't make any rash decisions. Don't let this, like, yeah, literally. Don't let this weirdo, like, get, like, to you, okay? Just cut that shit out. Like, just go ahead on and just nip that shit in the bud. Ignore her ass or ignore his ass or whatever the case may be. Focus on what you got going for you because you have a lot of new creative endeavors, a lot of new passionate beginnings that's waiting for you, Aquarius. This is weird. Like, this is a weirdo energy. Somebody, like, waiting to try to block you or try to stop you from having whatever it is that's, that's due to you. Will of Fortune, okay? Somebody is literally, literally trying to, like... <laughs> Throw a, a wrench in your plans. 
So anyway, Aqua, what is what is Aquarius? Let's get some. I almost want to pull the tea cards out just to see, like, what is this bum doing? Bum, 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 bum. Like, trying to stop you. Literally, the card that came out, I keep saying, if I say literally one more time, I sound like my kids. Oh, my God. Uh, I am sorry, y'all. My chill, I do that all day, like mimicking my kids, and that's becoming part of my voc vocabulary. I need to stop. That's crazy. But disruption. So somebody is trying to disrupt your pay your peace, Aquarius. All right, it just fell out the deck. <laughs> yeah, but you are you have abundance at man. Don't don't give in to this. It's gonna be hard to though. And it's going to also be hard to see somebody that you used to love or you used to care about in this um, this state of mind. Again, I feel like I'm being called to tell you all to pray for this person because somebody really is going through some sort of mental warfare. Somebody is having somebody is fighting uh, inner demons. OK, with the page of swords being here, that's that could be somebody who's mentally ill as well. Somebody is not handling like the changes that they're like going through in life. Like they're not handling that well. Let's see what your guys want to tell you about this situation. All right. Yeah, adventure, charity. Yeah, this is a this is somebody that you should feel bad for, okay? I feel like you don't have to give this person like money or give this person your time or energy, but I would I would pray for this person. Pray to this person and find some sort of healing and keep it moving. Okay. Perseverance. Again, look past this person. I'm hearing killing with kindness. If that don't work, killing with blindness. Act like they're not there. What's the advice for Aquarius regarding this uh situation? What is it? <laughs> Aquarius, you got boredom, you got change, and what is this? You got deceit. So Aquarius, li literally, don't trick yourself out of this, out of your spot. Aquarius, deceit. Somebody is purposely trying to get you to fall off, or trying to get you arrested, or trying to get you to like lose some sort of um, something that you worked really hard for, that you worked by yourself to get. Again, you've done a lot of self work. <laughs> All right, some of you guys, this may not even be a tangible thing. For some of you guys, this person is trying to get you to undo some sort of spiritual work you've done on yourself, some sort of healing work you've done on yourself, okay? Some of you guys, this person is just coming in to say a bunch of nasty things to you to make you feel negative or make you feel bad or to put you back in a spot that you used to be one time where you was a weaker version of yourself. Aquarius, this is not going to work, okay? Or don't let it work, okay? You are protected. Remember what you've learned. Remember what how you've grown, okay? You did this on your own. Something about a pregnancy, okay, again. And I'm just saying about that, somebody could be pregnant. Where this could be a baby mama or a baby daddy. Y'all see this pregnancy here, too. This is a, a pregnancy here, and this is somebody else being birthed here. But, yeah, you've changed, Aquarius. You're no longer that person. You're no longer that hurt, broken version of yourself that felt like they had to go back and forth with... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I ain't gonna even say that. With people who are like not, you know, as evolved as you, Aquarius. You don't have to do that, okay? You've changed. And you've also become bored with whatever the shit is that you've been doing with these people. Again, the shit is not even touching you because you've elevated so much, okay? So just continue to like stay on your high horse, Aquarius. Literally, clearing out your spirit guys. Why your spirit guys do your dirty work for you and clear out all of this negativity that's accumulating at your feet. <laughs> And because it's not reaching you, it's, it's it's at your feet. It's like gum on the bottom of your shoe, Aquarius. Like this is not. I'm I'm bored with the shit. Like y'all, if y'all can see, I'm not enthusiastic about reading this energy. It's not this read. Not even about to be long. I'm about to wrap this up, all right? Because this is the same bullshit. Okay, boredom. I'm gonna read that just because, like, mm mm mm. Aqua, like I'm over it. Ain't y'all over it? Like y'all ain't overseeing this same energy. <laughs> just keep recycling itself like you just keep trying to stay relevant by popping up in readings and shit like by by sneaking by being covert by cloaking a energy like you think you're cloaked but we see you like we've already exposed this energy several times like how many times do we have to keep exposing this this person okay especially if you a masculine energy like uh, not saying a masculine aquarius but whoever this is if you cross watch or whatever like 
We see you, weirdo. Like, you're here. We, we see you. You're exposed. <laughs> Ace of Swords is out here. Like, you're exposed. Your, your intentions are exposed. Like, all right. So, if somebody is trying to reconcile with you, Aquarius, pay attention to their intentions. Sit, figure out what this has to do. Like, why this person all of a sudden wants to, like, you feel what I'm saying? Come back towards you. All right. Somebody, again, could be trying to get readings done on you. These people are trying to figure out every which way to try to, like, get you got 23 somebody could be the age 23 okay somebody could be an aquarius pisces cusper somebody's birthday could be february 13. yeah like 23 breaks down to a five like it's over with like the wheels have turned <laughs> seasons of the witch okay the wheel has turned the cycle is complete it's over and done like i'm no longer stuck and still and stagnant that's you like that's you now anyway uh 23 boredom okay tedium <laughs> disappointment emptiness and frustration again somebody is mad as hell <laughs> that this shit is not working they can <laughs> every time whoever these minions are with this five of wands whoever these people are they're sending to watch you it's like <laughs> i'm hearing <laughs> i'm hearing uh you never bring me good news so uh, Aquarius, they just never have anything like good to say when it comes back to like them reporting back to this person. I mean, it's good for you. It's good news for you. All they can do is go back and say, yeah, Aquarius looking good. Aquarius, like they doing good. They got this, you know, they, they their business look like it's, it looks like it's flourishing. Like Aquarius is looking real good right now. And this person is upset. But yeah, it says life is relatively stable and calm now. And you've achieved a certain degree of predictability. <laughs> and comfort on a day-to-day -day basis however something is lacking in the way of deeper fulfillment your teacher guides gather in response to his empty to this emptiness excuse me they gently remind you that there's more to your soul than you pre than you are presently expressing they're calling upon you to share more of yourself with the world and let your hidden or forgotten talents come forward trust these beautiful guides as they lovingly urge you to set aside your reservations and unearth and express your hidden gifts they wisely counsel you that any restlessness, emptiness, and boredom you feel isn't the result of something wrong in your life, but rather is a reminder that there is more of you to express. Your teacher guides invite you to take advantage of your present peace and use your good fortune to explore your deeper spiritual and creative callings. For example, start a meditation group course, enroll in a filmmaking class, and learn Reiki. Begin writing or maybe even teach a class for other people. Stretch and ask more of yourself and give more of yourself to others there's time to dig deeper there's more of you to uncover express and share so aquarius you could also be like again i already said that i feel like you're bored with this shit already like you're bored with what's going on around you so maybe you are maybe you could be like picking up some classes like while this is going on around you i feel like you're you're not being distracted like you're not getting tricked out of your spot it's like you, you could be focusing on some something new um, y'all could be teaching classes, all right, or you could be picking up a new course of education. I said your birthday, Cottonwood. Which one was it? February 13th. Um, I know I'm teaching a class, uh, in a couple weeks. I'm excited about it. This will be my first time teaching a candle making course. I'm doing affirmation candles and stuff like that. So I'm doing that. So I know that's, that definitely resonates with me. Um, if y'all in Atlanta, come through. Come through with pressure at the park, okay? We're going to have a blast. It's going to be so much fun. Um, But, yeah, it's like you working on, like, finding, like, different parts of you to, like, you're still exploring yourself. This person needs to do that as well. Like It's like you continue to lead by example, Aquarius, all right? Continue to focus on, like, the positives and, like, not focusing on this bullshit. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, like... Like, I really don't want to stay in this energy. <laughs> Anything else for Aquarius? Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. Like, every... I, I like being on live with y'all and stuff like that, but I really enjoy actually being out in the community. It's so much different. Like, when you can actually meet a person face-to-face... That's why if you ever book a reading with me, oh, and if you've booked 
Now, let me tell you, I forgot to tell y'all this. I did extend my Eclipse sale out. I forgot who it was that asked me to extend it. But regardless, I did extend it or whatever. So, um, I will keep that sale up until April 30th. All right. So, if you haven't booked your reading with me, what are you doing? Okay. I don't understand what you're doing. But um, if you have booked a reading with me, you know I do face-to-face -face readings. Like, I like to see you. I like for you to see me. You feel what I'm saying? I don't like nobody. Mm. I like that shit to be personal and intimate. When you... In uh, you know, face to face with somebody is different. It's a different type of energy. So y'all got guilt, discipline, and perseverance. Yeah, somebody also could be possibly feeling Aquarius. Don't feel guilty either. Like some of you guys could like when y'all see what's actually happening with this person, or when y'all see this person in whatever condition that they're in, like you could be feeling guilty. All right, that ain't got nothing to do with you. Now, I'm not telling you not to have a good heart or whatever the case may be, but don't like allow yourself to feel shame or guilt for something that literally you have no control over. This person is responsible for their own decisions, their own actions, and whatever karma that they're getting, just know that they earned it. <laughs> just know that they earned it. Just like how you earned your good karma, this person earned whatever karma is coming their way. So just try to like, again, like if you can avoid this situation, just avoid it because somebody got... Somebody got something coming. All right, so let's see. Anything else for Aquarius to wrap this reading up with light and love? Thank you so much, Ancestors and Spirit guys, for guiding this message at this time, for making Aquarius aware of whatever it is that they need to know. Um, give us a few messages to wrap this reading up with light and love. Can't make this shit up. Like, literally, it literally came out. Like, it said, when I said light and love, love filled out, okay? <laughs> yeah, you got denial, okay? So, somebody, again, doesn't see the mistakes or the error in their ways. And this person also, could, this person is in denial, but they know what's coming for them, okay? <sighs> it says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And nothing to be, don't be scared now is what I just heard, okay? <laughs> don't be scared now like what are you scared of like you wasn't scared when you was doing whatever you were doing okay yeah fear somebody is afraid as fuck right now somebody is shaking in their boots for something that they did for whatever adversity for whatever trouble they've been causing somebody has been a troublemaker aquarius in your life for some of you guys this person has tried to be a troublemaker in your life but it didn't work it didn't even penetrate but for for a lot of you guys this is a this is a troublemaker this is somebody that's been working your motherfucking nerves, especially if it's just a baby mama or a baby daddy. Somebody's been purposely trying to get under your skin. They're using the kids. They're using everybody around you to be able to, like, get to you, okay? To try to, like, I don't know what they think this is going to do, though. Do they think this is going to result in you falling in love with them or you giving them another chance or... Like, I just don't understand what this person is, is thinking, okay? With this imagination card, it's like, are you really thinking... <laughs> Somebody is somebody is thinking this though. Imagination and love. Somebody is really mentally ill. Somebody is messed up in the head. Somebody really think that if they cause destruction and chaos and adversity when it comes to your love life, your career, your finances, and in other areas of your life, that it's going to make you want to come back towards them. This person is delusional as fuck. And not in a good way. Not my man, my man, my man like that. This is delusional. This is somebody that's mentally like, yeah. It says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Yeah, somebody really needs to go get, like, checked out, Aquarius. Somebody needs to nourish <laughs> nourish the aspect of their mind, all right? Because somebody is delusional as they think that you're coming back towards them um, after they're sending all this shit towards you with this adversity and ego or pride. It says pride, but the same thing as ego. Like, all this is out of ego, I love myself and I see myself in, it, in everyone. So Aquarius, again, like pray for this person, all right? Just know that everybody has their own unique challenges. Don't judge this person, okay? Even though I'm judging them, Aquarius, don't do what I do. I'm not judging them. I'm not judging them. <laughs> kind of judging them. But I'm not. I'm not even judgmental. It's just that I just... I just don't like this energy that this person is in. Like this person... And I know they probably can't help it if they're mentally ill. But like, we're like... Go get some help. Like... I just, and then as soon as I cut the deck, I cut the deck, <laughs> as I said, go get some help. And look what this says. Service. I feel good when I can help others. Aquarius, this person could be looking for you, looking to you for help, but you are not. This person is not your responsibility, okay? Regret. <laughs> now they sitting here regretting the decisions that they made, regretting how they can, uh, this is like a crybaby too. Whoever this is, this is somebody that cries like a wolf. What is it? Crocodile tears. This is like 
You only crying because you got caught. Like, this is the weirdest shit ever. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. I hope this message did not resonate with a lot of y'all. But if it did resonate with you, go ahead, hit that like button, share, subscribe, comment down below. I do read all of the comments. I love to read y'all comments. Y'all be having me cracking up with the stuff that y'all be saying. So definitely leave a comment if this resonated with you guys. If you are new here and you like the vibe, don't be shy. Hit subscribe. Join the tribe. We love to have you, okay, over here. We love, we share, we encourage, we grow. We do all of that together. We are a tight-knit family over here. So we love to have you, okay? So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, cousin. I love y'all so much, brothers and sisters and cousins. Sorry, I missed y'all. And I hope y'all had a great weekend. I told y'all, keep an eye out for the vlog because I planted a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of stuff. Hey, Sharice. Um, love y'all. I'm about to go to bed. Night-night.